हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अमित पटेल लेक्चरर इन कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम वीपीएमपी पॉलिटेक्निक गांधीनगर इन दिस वीडियो आई कवर ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ डिजिटल कंप्यूटर इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फ्लिप लॉक रजिस्टर एंड बस ट्रांसफर यूजिंग फोर मल्टीप्लेक्सर Now start with the block diagram of digital computer. Digital computer consists of input unit, ALU means arithmetic and logical unit, control unit, memory unit, and output unit. Input unit accept. information from the user with the help of input devices like mouse keyboard information received from user is stored in memory or directly used by alu to perform various operation alu performs arithmetic operation such as addition subtraction multiplication division and other logical operation program and data are stored in memory unit control unit supervise the flow of information between various unit at last output unit receive the result and print it on output devices like monitor and printer now next flip flop flip flop can store one bit information it can be designed using nand or nor gate it has two stable state that means a flip flop can store one and zero types of flip flop are rs flip flop d flip flop T flip flop, JK flip flop, and master slave JK flip flop. The output at any time depends on input at that time. Now next register. A flip flop can store. One bit. To increase the storage capacity, we use a group of flip flop. So, the this group of flip flop is known as a register. Next, types of register. D R that means data register. Data register is used. to store the data mar memory address register according to the name it is used to store the address ir instruction register it is used to store instruction to be executed next pc program counter which holds the address of next instruction to be executed r1 that means processor register now next is block diagram of register here two registers are there r1 register and r2 register r1 register contains 
8 bits means 0 to 7 bits. I2 register contains 16 bits that means 0 to 15 bits. 0 to 7 bits are called lower order bits which is sold by PCL program counter and L means lower order bits. Here 8 to 15 bits are called higher order bits which is shown by PCH in this diagram. Now next bus and bus transport. First of all what is bus? The bus is a path over which information is transferred from any of several sources to any of several destinations. That means using the bus information is transferred from source to destination. Bus structure consists of a set of common lines one for each bit of register and through which information is transferred. A more efficient scheme for transferring information between registers in a multiple register configuration is a common bus system. Now this is the diagram of bus system for 4 register. Here 4 registers are there. Register A, register B, register C and register D. Each register has 4 bits numbered through 0 to 3. 0 to 3. Here Register A has bits like A0, A1, A2, A3. Register B has bits like B0, B1, B2, B3. Same way for register C and register D. The bus consists of 4, 4 by 1 multiplexer. This is the multiplexer 0, 1, 2, 3. And two selection lines are there S1 and S0. The two selection line S1 and S0 are connected to the selection input of or 4 multiplexer S1 and S0 are passed to multiplexer 0 S1 and S0 pass to multiplexer 1 same as multiplexer 2 and same as for multiplexer 3 the multiplexer 0 multiplex the 4 bits of registers multiplexer 0 multiplex the 4 0 bits of the register that means it receive 0 bit from each and every register so multiplexer 0 receive a0 b0 c0 and d0 same way Multiplexer 1 multiplex the 4 1 bits of the register or first bits of the each and every register. So it receives A1, B1, C1, D1. Same way multiplexer 2 receives the second bit of each and every register and multiplexer 3 receive the third bit of each and every register.
Now depends of selection line S1 and S0. The output will be displayed on this four line common bus. If S1, S0 equal to 0, 0. That means S1 equal to 0, S0 equal to 0. Then register A will be selected. So multiplexer 0 select A0. Multiplexer 1 select A1. Multiplexer 2 select A2. And multiplexer 3 select A3. And this 4 bit will be passed on 4 line common bus. If S1 equal to 0 and S0 equal to 1. That means S1, S0 equal to 0, 1. Then register B will be selected. That means multiplexer 0 select B0 as a output. Multiplexer 1 select B1 as a output. Multiplexer 2 select B2 as a output. And multiplexer 3 select B3 as a output. And this 4 bit are passed on 4 line common bus. Same way, if S1, S0 equal to 1, 0, then register C is selected. And if S1, S0 equal to 1, 1, means both selection inputs are 1, then register D is selected. So, multiplexer 0 select D0 as a output, multiplexer 1 select D1 as a output, multiplexer 2 select D2 as a output and multiplexer 3 select D3 as a output. And this output are passed on 4 line common bus. If each register has n bits, then n number of multiplexers are required. Here register has only 4 bits. So we use 4 multiplexer. If register has 8 bits, then we use 8 multiplexer. And if register has n bits, so n number of multiplexers are required. Now next, this is the function table for common bus system using 4 multiplexer. S1, S0 is a selection line depends on the selection input register will be selected. Here if S1, S0 equal to 0, 0 then register A will be selected. If S1, S0 equal to 0, 1 then register B will be selected. If S1 equal to 1, S0 equal to 0, then register C will be selected. If S1, S0 equal to 1, 1, then register D will be selected. According to the value of S1, S0, we receive the selected register on the 4 line common bus. Thank you.